We mentioned this story before the break. This year's college graduation class will be the largest in American history, and they're all going to need work, and they are entering the worst job market in modern history. And so we asked NBC's Maria Menounos to look at the prospects. The way Danielle McGill figures it, she sent out 100 resumes for every year she attended college, 400 in all, and she's still jobless. That's my new job, is to look for a job. I gave it her. And she's about to get a lot of company. What's your major? Uh, finance and real estate. In a few weeks, 1.5 million college graduates will enter the workforce just as employers shed millions of jobs. They're just taking information for, you know, when everything starts to pick up and get better. And with growing numbers delaying retirement, these grads are competing for even fewer jobs and competing against out of work, more experienced talent. USC senior Whitney Middleton's job search has been like a final exam that will never end. It's kind of like weight on your shoulders and it's only getting heavier and heavier. And the communications major isn't likely to get that weight off her shoulders anytime soon. Employers say they plan to hire 22 percent fewer college grads this year. This was the generation where every kid got a trophy on the soccer team. So they've had a lot of success. And now suddenly we're in a situation where all of that has changed very, very quickly. Students graduating now expect lower salaries than their peers who graduated during better economic times. But what they might not expect? Studies of past recessions show those salaries never catch up. With this market, if I can get anything for any kind of experience, I'll take it. A grim reality for some, but for many, better than the alternative of no job at all. I want to keep trying. I hate to just quit, you know. But it's hard when you, every day you hear, no, 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 we're not hiring. Which means for the class of 09, the days of cramming aren't over yet. Maria Menunos, NBC News, Northridge, California.